Yeah, another beer. Ah, that always tastes so good. A lot of people that like that weird ass meme. I remember my first beer. I don't remember mine. Just letting you know. All right. So hope y'all had a good day. It's uh, whatever day I upload this on. Hope it was good for you. Been, been a pretty good day for me. Uh, weather is decent. It keeps going from sunny to pouring down rain. That's weird. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but those uh, Castle of Stromberg cards and the fairy tale monsters from uh, not fairy tale like snow. But the ones that the German kid used, or the kid from the German guy, I can't remember their names, Siegfried or something. Those cards are going to be real in Japan, and they look pretty fucking good. Like, they were broken in the show, and now they look like they're going to be relatively busted in real life. Of course, every deck seems that, or every card seems like that until nobody fucking uses it. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, those turn out to be good, but not too good, if you know what I'm saying. I got a sponsor I got to tell you all about. Got another gun sponsor from the Enum Claw Cumberland Ravensdale area. Very proud to have Custer's Last Gun Stand. A little bit of a play on words there with Custer's Last Stand. A little big horn. Custer's Last Gun Stand. Head on in there for all your gun needs. And right now I have a special going on saying build the wall, deport them all, and they will give you 25 cents off. Any purchase. They'll give you 50 cents off if you're paying with cash. So, Custer's last gun stand, build the wall, and deport them all. Paying with cash gets you 50 cents off. Thank you very much, Custer's. Really appreciate that. I'm trying to get a hold of all the gun stores in my local area. There's, that's going to be a lot of work for me. There's about 5,000 of them, I think. Guns are very popular where I'm from, being a conservative area. All right, so I got some random ass packs for y'all today. No boxes, no blisters. Just what I like to do is go through my assortment of, of randomness and grab up some random packs that I don't know why they're loose, but I got them. Uh, so let's go through them here. I think I can call these classic now. Three packs of Extreme Force. I'm already misleading the video because I got Extreme Force here, but it's not the newest anymore. Flames of Destruction is the newest. Obviously, you want to get Saruji out of those. And then I have four packs. First edition, Gladiator's Assault. Obviously, you want to get Necroface or uh, Magical Formula out of these. That would be super, super sick. My God, Gladiator's Assault is so old now. And then I have five Terminant Pack 7s. I want to get Fortress Whale out of these. There's no doubt about it. Fortress Whale is the best out of this. What is the Ultra out of this? I don't remember. It's so tough for me to remember except for like the first couple packs. Then I have one first edition pack of Magic Ruler. Really want the Mystical Space Typhoon or Delinquent Duo out of that. And one first edition Metal Raiders. Really want a Solemn Judgment, Mirror Force, Gate Guardian. There's so many good cards out of this one. This is like my favorite set of all time just for how good, how classic the cards are. Plus, I like the name, Metal Raiders. That just sounds cool. You know, Heavy Metal Thunder, Steppenwolf. When I went and saw the damn Justice League movie, getting a little off topic here, when I went and saw the Justice League movie, you know, with Ben Affleck and Wonder Woman. What is the gal that plays Wonder Woman? Some Israeli gal? I don't know. I can't remember. Whatever. When they kept saying the main villain was Steppenwolf, I thought for sure it was going to be Steppenwolf the fucking band. That would have been office. O awesome. Wow, I couldn't say awesome. Magic Carpet Ride and Born to be Wild. Hell yeah, I'm all over those songs. Those are great songs. Those are probably the best songs in the 1960s. How's it go? Magic Carpet Ride? It's like... Let's see if I can remember it. Last night I found Aladdin's lamp for... For, for so I could make a wish, someone came and took the lamp away. I looked around. A lousy candle was all I found. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I still got it. Magic Carpet Ride. That's a good ass song. Anyways, guys, enough rambling on and on, which is another good song by Raven. Look that up on YouTube. On and on by Raven. Great, great metal song from the 1980s. Not lots of glitz, glam, and beautiful women. All right. 
I'm gonna head over yonder. I'm gonna open these packs up. I'm gonna see if I pull anything good. Can I pull a hollow out of these? I mean, I besides Extreme Force, out of the other old packs, can I possibly pull a foil out of? That is a challenge. If I manage to do it, hoop, doggity dog. That's amazing. All right, guys. Weather's well, getting warmer. Better stay cool. We better do that by drinking beer and getting drunk. All right, let's get on in here. Here they all are. Start off with the Extreme Force. See if I can pull a secret or ultra from these. Hopefully a secret. So I got skunked in the last video, like 27 packs and pull a goddamn secret to save my life. Let's go. Walking out of Puppeteer, Secure Gardener, Alter Geist Manifestation, and World Legacy Whispers. Cut Resource Reflect Clown, Fire Prison, FA City Grand Prix. Come on, Extreme Force. You let me down the other day. Don't let me down again. Give me something. Give me a secret. Give me that Saruja or a Mech Knight. Not this one. Or Sunset. Tenangle Intruder. Striping Partner. Another Alter Geist Manifestation. Desmanian Devil. Euler Circuit. Grappler Angle. Ghost, Ren Ghost Trick Renovation. World Shield. That shield kind of, this these kind of buildings remind me from those Black Panther movies. All right, last pack of Extreme Force. Here we go. Tendangle Intruder, Kareo B Karate Spirit, Flame Administrator, Tendangle Dulani, and Avenger Revolution. Well, I got three super rare traps in a row. Mythical Beastiomorph. God damn. I can not pull anything good out of modern bags. F.A. Auto Navig Navigator Recovery Sorcery. Or Sorcerer. That's such cool artwork. Too bad he's only for cyber monsters. All right. Let's get into these Gladiator's Assault. Been a long time. That little Gladiator's Assault. Man, it's got to have been at least six years. All right, here we go. Come on, foil. Remember, you don't. you're not guaranteed a super here. Contact out. Look at how goofy fucking uh, mole is here. Neospatian Grand Mole. My God. Infinite Infinity Dark. Swift Strike Armor. Chamberlain of the Six Samurai. The Six Samurai is supported from the shadows by the silent, mysterious warrior. His past is unknown to them, but his countless scars are proof of experience. So he's kind of like a Shadow Six Samurai before Shadow Six Samurai. Cell Explosion Virus. Man, it's been so long since I've seen this card. Jesus. For alien support. Cloudy and the worst ever. Release from Stone. Cloudy and Turbulence. And Spell Soul Devouring Bamboo Sword. Man, Cell Explosion Virus. That's weird art on it, too. This is going to be a short video for y'all. Everyone always says my videos are hella long, but this one's going to be short. A-Cell Incubator. All these alien cards. Cloudian Ghost Fog. That's kind of a scary looking card. I don't know why. Disarm. Foolish Revival. Evil Hero Dark Gaia Rare. Nice. That's a good rare. Cloudian Smoke Ball. Smoke Balls are newly born Cloudians. They fear being alone and would rather swing and sway in the sky with their friends. I remember that so well because I opened up so much Gladiator Salt back in the day that I remember getting so many of these and just reading that over and over again. I've almost memorized it. Over Limit, Gladiator Beast Secutor, and Gladiator Beast Battle Halberd. All right, can there be a foil? Come on. Give me that Necro Face. I want it. Swift Strike Armor. Chain of the Six Samurai. Fog Control. <laughs> Gambler of Legend. I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Three toss a coin three times. Apply appropriate effect. Three heads. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Two heads. Just discard one random card from your opponent's hand. One head. Destroy one card you control. Three tails. Discard your entire hand. Oh, another Cell Explosion Virus. All right. Cloudy and Turbulence, Soul Devouring Bamboo Sword, Gladiator's Return, and Stealth Roid. Huh. I don't even remember Stealth Roid. He must be absolutely horrible. All right. <clears throat> Last and final pack of Gladiator's Assault. Come on. Let it be. Ooh, Beastiari, nice. 
Detonator Circle A, Test Ape, <laughs> Test Ape. It's been a long time since I've seen this card. A long time. Super Double Summon. Alien Telepath Rare. Wow. The Alien Telepath. Look how gross that is. Glare's Beast Battle Handle. Wish Doctor Sparta. Fuck, that's another gross card. Spirit of the Six Samurai. This card was really good back in the day, believe it or not, folks. Oh, and the original Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Nice. I forgot that was in here. Light Imprisoning's in here, too. Yeah, Spirit of the Six Samurai, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, Spirit of the Six Samurai. It's really good back in the day. Like, every deck ran one copy. Every Six Samurai deck. All right, here we go. Come on, Fortress Well. All right, I got to open up these weird, right? I think, yeah. Put the front card on the back. Neko Gal number two. Last Will and Fortress Will's Oath. Come on, let that be a sign. I want. I always get Fortress Will's Oath, but I never get the Fortress Whale himself. I'm trying to be as sneaky as possible so I don't catch any glimpse of the front card. Doing my best. Soul Exchange, Prisman, Hanawa. It's so totally worth it putting Hanawa on the back, you know, for that epic reveal. Alright, trying to do it super stealthily. So I can't even see the card's reflection in the in the in the packaging. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to put it on the back, but it didn't matter. <laughs> oh, there's Digby. Wall of Illusion was a played card for quite a while. So was Skilled Dark Magician. I like Wall of Illusion. Good effect for back in the day. Attack, a monster that attacks this monster is returned to its owner's hand after damage calculation. Damage calculation is applied normally. 1850. Set that. People got a tough time getting over it back in the day. All right, two packs left of tournament pack seven. I have never pulled a foil out of these random tournament pack sevens. It's pretty tough to do, folks. That's all I can tell you. Someday I'm going to do it. Someday on camera, I'm going to get that Fortress Whale. And y'all can stare at it and be amazed as I am. Millennium Golem. Last Will. Fortress Whale's Oath. Man, I get a lot of Fortress Whale's Oath. All right, here we go. Last pack of tournament pack Savon. All right, I didn't see it. No clue what it is. Skilled White Magician. Is that racist? Probably. Hanawa. And I got a rare. An Amazonist Swordswoman. Wow. I actually got a rare. That's a good one. The opponent takes all battle damage of this card's controller that he or she would have taken from a battle involving this card. It's not he and she. They should have just put it. Whatever you are. Just it. That would have been fun. All right. Magic Ruler. Man, these packs roll. 2002. Let's go with... Um, Mystical Space Typhoon or Delinquent Duo. Those are my two favorite cards out of this set. MST. MST. There's Chain Energy. High Tide Giona. A very agile half fish warrior known for its relentless attacks. I missed the old flavor text. Boar Soldier. Nice. Hamburger Recipe. And Amoeba. There we go. There's Amoeba. I love the feel of these old cards. They have the OCG paper. They, they feel grittier. Flash Assailant, Turtle Oath, Twin Long Rods. My God, look at that. The Twin Long Rods. An amphibious creature with two whip-like tails. That's offensive. Whip. Oh, Course of Sanctuary. Increase the defense of all defense position monsters by 500 points. Classic card. All right, here we go. Last best chance to get a foil on a Metal Raiders. So many good foils in this. Let's see if I can get a Jurai Gumo common in this pack, too. I'd like to get the Solemn Judgment, of course, but Jurai Gumo, we'll count that as a win, too, right? We got Queen's Double. This monster can attack your opponent's life points directly. Huh. I actually don't remember. This must be a short print. Lady of Faith. Soothes the souls of others by chanting a mysterious spell. Steel Scorpion. Blue Wing Crown. With hair shaped like a crown and a body encased in bluish white flames. This bird is a formidable sight. <laughs> nice. Oh, and a Sangan. There we go. Get the Sangan. Oh, Water Emotics, the uh, artwork. Oh, there's a Bakuri box. Cool. Man, look at these cool-ass old monsters. I got to read them all. Bakuri, I mean, uh, Water Emotics, of course, is nude in the OCG. 
our one buddy, uh, and a lot of people don't know there's a drag in the background. Uh, a lot of people are really into getting that one because she's completely naked, and they jack off, I'm sure. But Curry Box, which, of course, in the anime, they just Pegasus to summon as a normal monster, and there's no tributing anyways. But Curry Box, what it takes this Crass Clown and Dream Clown? Huh. Of course, Winged Dragon guarding the fortress number one. This is the first monster Yugi ever summons. A dragon commonly found guarding mountain fortresses. Its signature attack is a sweeping dive from out of the blue. All right. And ground attacker Bugroth. A surface battle ro robot that was once used for sea warfare. Nice. Uh, well, no foils. I got the Sangan, the original print rare. Uh, when this card is sent from Field of the Graveyard, remove one monster from your... Uh, move one monster with attack of 1,500 or less from your deck to your hand. This, your deck is then shuffled. Pretty classic. Yes, back in the day, the deck, the card had to say that it shuffled your deck. Otherwise, you just, you know, manipulate your deck and hand it to your opponent, right? All right, guys, letting any foils. I expect that out of those kind of packs. Still fun for me nonetheless. I just like getting those old packs, open them up. It's so exciting, you know, gambling. Gambling. Anyways, guys, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified immediately that I've uploaded some quality content, go and hit that bell icon for whom the bell tolls, and you'll be notified immediately that I've uploaded something good, some real good, some you're going to be proud to watch, some you're going to feel enlightened about. Uh... Really appreciate all the comments and likes and views I get from y'all. It really tickles my heart. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a couple days. Peace!